Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Erica in America. Today I'm in California. Actually, I really am in California right now. So let me know, have you ever been to California? Or would you like to visit California? Leave a comment in the comment section and tell me, I would love to know. Today I want to talk to you about how to use at, in, on, right? These three little prepositions are very little, but many people get these confused with each other. I like to tell people the way to remember these prepositions is to think of an upside down triangle. In is general, on is specific, and at is very specific, right? So in, we use it for centuries, the 1800s, decades, the 90s, years, 1987 or 2022, months, January, April, and weeks, two weeks. On is more general. So on we use for days or dates. On my birthday, on Friday, or on June 22nd, 1980. On the weekend, we can use it for. Uh, Americans say on the weekend and British people say at the weekend. Something to remember. And at is very specific. So we use it for the hour. At 10 a.m., at 12 o'clock, or noon, or midnight, at 7 p.m. Okay, so let's look at this table here. We can see at for the time of the day at two o'clock, at noon, at 4 p.m., at lunchtime, and for special expressions, at night, at the weekend, at Christmas or at Easter, at the same time, at the moment, at present. And then we can see on, on for days and dates, on Monday, on January 6th, on Christmas day, on my birthday, also for day plus part of the day, on Monday morning, on Tuesday evening, on Thursday afternoon. So day plus part of day with on. And in is used for the part of the day, in the morning, in the afternoon, but remember we say at night. Okay, so in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, at night. We use in for months, in March, in January, in December, for seasons, in the summer, in winter, in spring, for years, in 2001, in 1969, in 500 BC, and for longer periods, in the 1990s, in the 20th century, in the ice age, in the past. Remember, do not use a preposition at, in, on with last, next, every, and this, okay? So example, did you go on vacation last summer? Not, did you go on vacation in last summer? That's incorrect. My birthday is next Friday. I visit my parents every Christmas. I had a wonderful breakfast this morning. No preposition at, in, on. A lot of information, I know. Okay, so let's look at some example sentences using at and on. Whitney Houston died in 2012. Very sad, by the way, I love her. Number two, we celebrate Christmas on December 25th. I don't like driving at night because it's very dark. In ancient times, people believed in many gods. Selfies became popular in the 2000s. That's true, by the way. I'm really busy at the moment. Can you call me back later? Are you going to have a party on your birthday? Susan arrived late for work on Tuesday morning. In Europe and the United States, most people do not work on Sundays. I usually go skiing 
in January because it snows a lot. That's not true. I've never been skiing. The Titanic sank in 1912. Very sad moment. If everybody speaks at the same time, we'll never understand each other. All right, guys, you survived this little grammar lesson. Bravo, bravo. Okay, I hope I explained everything well, but if you have any more questions or any topics that you would like me to cover, please drop a comment in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification so you will be notified every time I put up a new video. All right, guys, thank you for sticking with me and see you next time. Peace.